Hey, get your hands up. Huh? Don't worry, just give us. I'll, I'll take care of Madam? So where do you stay? Huh? Where do you stay? I'm uh, Ella. Call Ella. Ella. Where's your phone? Okay. All right. Come. Okay. Come. Uh, Sit down. Okay. Okay. Uh, Relax. Uh, careful. Careful. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, to go up in Luna's last night tonight, especially without your car. And I begged you to go with me. Were you blotted? No. God, she was so cute. <laughs> what are you talking about? Chrissy, I have to let go because I haven't seen you with a guy for a long time. God, this guy is so cute. I hope this one works out. I don't know what you're talking about, okay? Oh, thank God I'm not the only one with a problem here. I am drunk. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy cycle. Anyways, I don't know what you're talking about. Ah! Oh. Listen, um, can I have the coffee now? Oh, my God, it's fine. Oh, please, whatever. I'm so scared. <laughs> Hi, 
Macy. Hi, how are you? Who are you? You don't remember me? No, I don't know you. Um, I guess I know you. You're the one who brought me home this morning, right? Exactly. Oh, <laughs> Ella told me about you. Oh, she did, huh? Yes. Great. I just came to find out if you're okay, if you're doing good. I'm fine, as you can see. Um, I'm about going out, okay? Ella is inside. I guess you'll use the company, all right? Thank you. I'm Joseph. Thank you. I'll just take my leave. Hatred. Listen, I don't hate you. Just like we're big neck and sometimes it could be so annoying. You. Ten years of miserable friendship with you. Come here. Oh, you mean? People just stop. Okay, I'm not acting like this. Oh my god. Listen, I miss you so much. Come here, you should. Can I come here? I'm about to die. You could be dying. What? I hope you got her a boyfriend too. Stay out of this you cycle. It's crazy though. Yes. See you at 2 30 lunch. Hmm? But you know what I like about you? The very sensitive nature to all people. Okay, lunch will be fine. That's it, your thing. Ah, problem. I'll do that.
I think. Let me confirm. Oh, just hold on. Let me confirm. That is the girl I told you I dropped off at her house from the club the other night. Wallahi. Kaskash is beautiful. Is she a prostitute? No, 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 no. I think she's one of those working class citizens who get too bored with themselves. Oh. <laughs> Now I get it. Now I get it. So, what's the deal? Wallahi, there is no deal. Lo. There is no deal. I am totally done with these women and all their troubles and wahalla. Honestly. Hey, women can be very annoying sometimes. Trust me. Particularly, I'm not talking about a girl who just goes to the club and gets drunk like this one. Now I get it. I can see you're still hurting over Ruki. I did my best for that woman. I did everything I could for that woman. Kaskia, what else can a man do? But I guess it just wasn't good enough for her. Kaskia, can you It's not good. your fault. You've tried. That is right. Um, I think it's coming upstairs because we actually went to lunch now. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, Grace. Yeah. Um, I would like to speak to you from that uh, your name and your to me are uh, up for promotion. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. So I would like you to work hard so that you can get it. All right, I'll do that. Thank you so much. Ah, before you go, what do you get from your house? I'll come to take it all. Keep it. <laughs> Thank you so much for the ride. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Grace, don't thank me. I need money for fuel. I've been your driver for past one week now, but you can't even fuel the tank for once. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bright, just because you carried me for one week, you're already on my neck. Remember that your car broke down and I carried you for more than one month and you just practically possessed my car. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, well, uh, things on life is more expensive. You should understand that. I heard you travel for an official trip. How did it go? Beautiful. I'm back now. Mm. Um, what of Manuela? <laughs> that girl supposed to kill herself with work inside. I had to leave her inside. Are you coming for dinner? Oh, of course. You know, I'm a bachelor, so what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I have to run, okay? I'm going to get dressed when we're back, okay? Okay. Good. Hey, don't forget to get the money for the Get lost! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Some noise, so I decided to come downstairs. What kind of noise? I didn't hear any noise. Yeah, I heard the so I said come downstairs. What do you want? <sighs> okay, first, you're working too much. And secondly, it was here. You know what I'm talking about. I am not working too much. 
God, I'm a stockbroker, okay? I need to know what's in the international market. And right. Right is a no 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 for me. Why? I mean, he's my best friend. And he's crazy about you. Just the point. He's your best friend. I'm not too comfortable with listen. I don't I don't want to come between both of you. Come on. Ah, oh, Emanuela. I met you through Mona, and you've won my heart. If I don't think it's okay, or I would have agreed in the first place. Listen, I want you to think about it, okay? If I thought I wouldn't be able to take care of you um, guys, I would have introduced you guys. I know that you could take care of him. Alright? Are you sure? I am very sure, okay? Well, I think I like you. I like you. Oh, pretender! Pretender! <laughs> no, what? Oh my oh, goodness! No, no, no. I'm so. Who's got a diamond ring now? Yo, what is that? Okay, listen. Um, Mesa Imanuela Adati. Can I give you a number, please? please? Well, only on the account that he doesn't stop. Oh me. no, deal. Okay, he will stop you. Okay, so please, can you go and sleep for me now, please? Okay, take the lead. Okay, let's go. I'll try to sleep. <laughs> Is there a laptop in your room? Oh, no, no, I'm not going to give you anything. Just okay. Ooh. 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 Okay, I'm leaving. I will leave. 
Management knows that you are the best. They might have a better plans for you. It hurts me to see you feel like this. I don't have a life. I don't have a life anymore. I don't have time for myself. You have a life. You have time for yourself. You're talking about life and time here. What about Ella? What are you going to say about Ella? What about Ella? Hey, 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 I don't want us to talk about Ella right now. Please, we'll talk about her later. Okay. So, I always want you to be happy. Just be happy. Mr. Sally, you, how are you today? Great, great, great. Uh, I just want to find out, um, did the trucks come in this morning? Really? Were they monitored? How come I don't have the manifesto on my table? Sally, you, you know I hate being kept in the dark. You know that very much about me. What sort of answer is that? Please send me a fax, ASAP. I hope you understand that. Thank you, that'll be all. Shake it. Ray Hacker. I was here earlier and I made your absence. Oh, sorry. I went to check on the trucks that'll be heading up to Kano this evening. So that's why I wasn't here in the morning. How was it? Not bad. Everything went well. Uh, they should be in Kano by tomorrow night, possibly, if everything goes smoothly. Mm. Guess who I bumped into yesterday? Just, just guess, just guess. Your dad? Ah, Idrissa. You're just a lousy joker for a guesser. Why, why would your mind even go there at all? Okay? See, as long as Lagos branch of Bell is concerned, he is the most dreaded. Oh, tell me about it. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, that man. I just pray this whole deal sails true. Otherwise, I am a dead man. Belo Hassan will forget the fact that I'm his son, lock me up and throw away the keys. Ahmed! I know, I know. <laughs> lock for life. Yeah. <laughs> you know he can do it. For life, that man is uh -huh. He's a terror. Uh -huh. <laughs> but the person I bumped into today is Gracie. La, ila, ila, la. Mm -hmm. I remember. So how, how is she? Did you guys have the chat? No. Mm -mm. We didn't chat. She was with her boyfriend and um, she was very furious at him, but uh, he happened to calm her down. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mimi? If you are given the opportunity, you will never leave the office. Come on. <laughs> on the contrary, I prefer working from home. Oh, really? 
Yeah. So, um, how was work today? Fine. Um, where is Mona? <sighs> Out with her boyfriend. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, excuse me. Stay. Um, yeah. On my way back, I saw something that I think might look good on you. Wow, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, please sit down. Sit down. <laughs> so, um, what do I offer you? Um, dinner with me tomorrow evening. Was the gift of bride? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, what would you like to take? Okay, don't worry yourself. Um, I'll be on my way. Okay, so soon. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, let me see you. Take good care of yourself, eh? Thank you. Nice. All right. Bye -bye. Mona, just shut up, okay? I mean, your attitude towards me just gets on my nerves. Gracie, when experienced people are talking, please, your opinion does not matter, okay? Just back off. Mona, I will not take that from you, okay? I will not take it. Oh, I know truth hurts. Yes, I know. But don't worry, you'll get over it. <laughs> Listen, maybe Mona isn't putting it right. I think you should get a life. I mean, what are you working yourself for? To head a branch in your bank. You haven't, and you might never. Um, Ella, are you part of this? Yes. For once in your life, Chris, you give a man the green light. Clubbing, drinking and having us isn't enough. I mean, we'll someday go our separate ways. What then will become of you? Listen, I had a life before both of you. With or without the both of you, my life would go on, okay? Just get me to My dear, I've known you for three years now. If you're a lesbian, just come out so that we will know where to please you. Oh, come on. 
You look like the queen of bright heart. Really? <laughs> don't mind that. Don't allow her to trap your mood, okay? <laughs> she might not have been on a date for the past 10 years. <laughs> that should be him. Yeah. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. You are looking beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> um, shall we? <laughs> yeah. No problem. These are two adults that went on a date. If they decided to have sex on the first date, let them be. How can they have sex on the first date? I mean, that's some godly. That is ridiculous. Huh? Crazy. What are you jealous about? I thought you were okay with it. She asked you how she looked, and you were speechless. It's just that um, I just I just feel that she's taking away my best friend. I knew you were not okay with it. Um, for a second, I just, I just saw that um, Brad will never give me the attention he used to give me again, you okay. know, and you know that's it. I hope she didn't notice. God, what are you jealous about? Hmm? Don't give me that look, okay? I know them. I can define them, okay? Good Lord, allow these people to have fun. Ah, you know why I like you. You're so open and real. To some people, that's your weakness, but to me, that is your strength. Huh? <laughs> nah, just stop being jealous. Go upstairs, change what you're wearing, and go back to sleep. Can't you give me a ride, my mother? It's more mommy. I'll <laughs> your mommy for the kids. Now go inside and change that clothes. Go to sleep, it's late. Okay, go. But she's not upstairs. So, all right. <laughs> jealous. <laughs> I'll call you back into the cell. The client is to a joint account, but they decided to go their separate ways. Then there is necessary information you need. If you need another thing, call me. Brad, I called you more than 12 times last night. You didn't pick my calls or return any. Oh, I was engaged. Oh, it was a deliberate act, right? Not really. Not really, it's just that I don't know. I totally understand. He came to the office this morning and Corsi did not demand you to come and say hi as usual. But no problems. But if I did not come to your office to say hello, why don't you come to my own office? What is the issue? That I did not come to your office to apologize or that I did not come to your office to show face as usual? Maybe both. But that, that means you don't have a case. Yeah, you don't have a case. Um, I'm busy right now. I'll talk to you later. Wear this look, I might as well excuse myself. What is wrong with you? Tell me what I want to hear, okay? You and I went to the shop for a dress I said I liked. And I told you I was going to come back to get it. The next minute you bought a dress for Ella, without even my notice, without even telling me. Am I supposed to bring to your notice whatever I choose to buy for her? No. Oh, good. Ella is your friend. 
And I thought whatever you would like, she might as well like it. I took you to that shop and I told her I wanted to look around. On the contrary, I just want to see what to catch up your fancy. I never knew you wanted it. I'm sorry. How come you never asked me out on a date? I mean, how come? You're my junior colleague. I can't date you. <laughs> I'm not asking you to date me, okay? I'm just saying that um, from your perspective, am I not pretty enough? You're beautiful, and you know that. One day without your smile, this man sitting here will not be complete. Okay. The other day, someone win the shop for a wristwatch. I know you like this. Oh my goodness! Hi. Oh God, this is beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, I thought you stopped loving and showing me attention, so I was getting angry. Too. No, no, it's not possible. You know I like you so much. Oh, thank you so much. You know how much I like you. Oh, this is beautiful. But I have to get rid of this jealousy. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, thank you so much. It's so beautiful. Yeah, this is good. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, um, so what would you like to eat? Um, anything. Okay. On me. Rice and juice. Just rice. Don't worry. The bill is on me. Don't worry. Just anything. Are you sure? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Just rice and what? Rice and juice. Hurry up now, we don't have all the time. Ah, ah. Why are you guys so tough? Or Jake's face? Oh, you already have all those fun right? It's not actually a bad idea to spend the weekend with someone you love, <sighs> is it? Oh, <laughs> nice research. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Really nice. Anyways, I don't have a problem with that, okay? It's just that I'll be so bored in this house. Anyways, I'll go clubbing. Go clubbing? Yes. So another stranger can bring you home? Whatever. What? She didn't tell you? No. Oh, I will give you just on our way. Let's go. Anyways, you guys have a fun-filled afternoon gossiping about me. Don't worry. I'll call you Jake Mr. the proud. <laughs>
are you? Oh, oh, I know this face, right? Well, my name is Ahmed, and uh, we met last week at the club, and I brought you home. Um, between the both of us, what really happened? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You just got so plastered from alcohol. Um, you went to the car park, brought out uh, a bunch of house keys, and you were going to unlock another man's car. And I brought you home. <laughs> that was so silly of me. I actually thought it was my car. Oh God, I must have overdone it, right? <laughs> well... Um, so, what are you doing here? I mean, at this time of the night? Boredom. I was just looking for the perfect partner for an outing tonight and apparently I wasn't wrong. Because you seem all dressed up and waiting for me. So delectable, I must say. You have some nerves to come into my house and talk rubbish in front of me? You know, the last time we met, you were kind of, um, I must say, bitchy. What? Are you really like that? Get yourself off my couch and leave my house right now. Not without you, though. Can I call the police? Excuse me for a moment. You see, you might want to use my phone. It's unlimited. For all I care, make sure nothing gets missing from this house! Oh, I'll make certain of that. Make sure. I will just gladly play the security for tonight. inside and put your clothes back on so I can take you out. Out? At 3 a.m.? Listen, whoever or whatever you are, I don't know you, okay? You had better leave my house right now. like this. Listen, whatever plans you think you have, rest assured, has failed. Okay? So leave my house. The gates are open, okay? So leave right now. It's morning and you have to leave. 
<laughs> well, as a stranger. Listen, Sir Sir, okay? I have had enough of this. It's either you leave or I call the police. Only after a cup of coffee. What? A cup of coffee. What exactly do you want from me? Friendship. Like the kind you share with Bright. What? Who on earth are you? Well, we happen to have our offices located on the same street and I have done my thorough research to know that Bright is your best friend. Hmm? I already have. A friend. There is no space for you. Oh, there is space, Graceful Grace, and you know it. Mm. Don't ever call me that again, okay? You're not allowed to call me that. I guess you'll be done with your coffee by now. You're kicking me out already? Obviously. Very well. But I shall be back. And this time, I won't be inviting you out to dinner. I want to take you to a club. Let's say, 11 p.m.? I'll be fine, right? Have a good morning, my dear. And thanks for the hospitality. Oh, yes. 
have a gift. A gift? Yeah, a puppy. <laughs> I don't know. Um, just a note on it. The gift and brought it. Said it's for you. His name is Denzel. Please do take care of him from someone that cares. Oh my god, this is so cute! So cute! <laughs> Gracie. Okay, come in. Let me get help you. Thank you. Gracie, you have a guest. Gracie. Uh, hello, Gracie. Hello. Hi. I can't remember inviting you. Well, I um, I thought about it, and I. Said to myself, if I waited, I'll never get an invite, so. Oh, now that you're here, make yourself comfortable. I am busy inside. I can see you're getting acquainted with Denzel. Hello, Denzel. Nice dog, huh? You sent it? You like it? Yes, I love it. But that does not change the fact that you're not invited to my house. Bad manners, Gracie. Instead of you arguing with this gentleman over here, why don't you introduce us and go get him something to drink? Ahmed, meet Mona. Mona, Ahmed. What would you like to drink? Anything refreshing would be nice. Darling, come here. Ah. Oh. So do you like dogs? Yes, I do, but I don't keep them. It's a lovely dog, dog. Come here, Uncle. Come here. Hello. 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 Denzel. Denzel! <laughs> this is the great thing, not with you. Come to man. 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 And I like him. I want you to give him a chance. You don't expect me to get entangled with a Muslim. Ugh. Others that you've entangled yourself with, were they Muslims? Listen, you know my family. I mean, you know that I can't get entangled with a Muslim. I fall in love with him. Then my father says no. You know, I need my father's blessings to get married. You and I know that your relationship with Pastor Jonah was a flop. A sorry cause. And I believe that is the cause of your timidity. Not your father. Your father is not your problem. Why don't you just give this guy a chance? Free your mind and just have fun while you I mean while you can. <sighs> Alright. Alright, okay? Alright, I've heard you. I, I'll try. Alright? <sighs> he said you'll be around tomorrow by seven to take you out for dinner. So be prepared. Just go have fun, girl. Oh, come on, Grace. What are you doing? My dear food is ready. Let's get it. I am not hungry. I have to finish this. Don't tell me you're still on this. I said I'm not hungry. Is it my boss? Okay. Emma, your friend is full of smiles. Did she hit a jackpot? Haven't you noticed? For some days now, she's been so full of life and excitement. Yes, I have. That's why I'm asking. You shouldn't be asking. Weren't you the one who advised her to get entangled with that Muslim guy? 
They are dating already. Quincy, <laughs> not. Quincy. Oh, my dear. You're full of surprises. Quincy, you can say that again. Nonsense. <laughs> Who was that for? Mm -hmm. Hey, oh, boy, I hit this laptop down. For Mona. Mona. How could you ask her to date a Muslim? My God, that is so un unthinkable. You talk as if I'm in control of her mind. You and I know that Gracie has been in the world of her own for a long time. I just advised her to have fun while it lasts. <gasps> Mona, that is wrong. And I think you should talk her out of it like you talked her into it. Just let them be, okay? You and I know that it's going nowhere. I'm going to eat. Are you coming? I'm coming over. Just I've said my own shot. Hello. Hi. Hi. What are you doing in my premises? Really, the last time I checked, this was a business environment. So, I, I really need to see you. Where are you guys going? Um, we're going to have lunch. Ah. Where's your car? My car had an accident on a lonely night out, so I decided to keep it at the mechanics of a workshop. You know, there's a lot of out there. <coughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, bright meets Ahmed. My friend, Ahmed, it's right, my best friend. Great, nice to meet you. The pleasure is likewise. Um, right, forgive me, but I'll have to crave your indulgence. I need to speak to her for like five minutes in the office, if you don't mind. It's okay, as long as you take care of her. Oh, I'll try my best, but I promise. <laughs> Shall we? Thank you. I would have thought it was a new car. You apparently didn't plan on bringing back the car again. <laughs> it's not that, you know. It's just with 300,000 naira balance. I mean, it was totally out of my mind. Anyway, since it's here already, I have to pay the mechanic, you know. I don't have a choice. Yeah. Your receipt. What? He brought back a receipt and I've not even paid him his money? This is really strange. Anyways, I'm tired. I have to go and sleep. I'll follow you. What? Just take it easy. <laughs> We're right in that door, right? I don't know. Right, right, right. Okay. Ah, okay. Oh, my goodness. Go. I should keep moving. Yes. <laughs> okay. Ta-da. Mona, you let a man into my bedroom. I mean, what sort of thing? I mean, how could you do that to me? A man in my bedroom? Um, it's Ahmed. He's responsible for the car too. Ahmed? No, no, no. It can't possibly be Ahmed, okay? Because I mean, we are virtually together all day, so it can't be him. Well, I helped a little. Mona, are you serious? Ahmed did all this.
please. Uh, yeah, thank God today is Friday. So, how are you preparing your weekend? Um, I'll be traveling to see my mother. I know what that means. Oh, good. Yeah, I think you should come out straight and tell them the truth. The truth about what? Yeah, that you've been dicing all the men coming your way that you never wanted to get married. You no, know, that is not the truth. Listen, I, I, don't, I don't just fancy those men. I don't have anything for them, so... Mm. What about Ahmed? Ahmed, Ahmed is just my friend. <laughs> exactly what I'm expecting to hear from you, that Ahmed, he is just a friend. Now, let me tell you something, Grace. Ahmed is Chief Bello's first son. Anything. It's just my friend. <laughs> just a friend. You have to be very, very careful. Uh, don't worry, I'll be careful. He's just my friend. There's oh, nothing more. Yeah. I'm serious. Uh, all right. Good. Just be careful. That's all. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Yeah. You're not happy to see me? Very well. I'll understand if you're not in the mood for our company. So... I'll just, um... I'll take my leave. Oh, it's my pleasure. Anytime. I always walk. I walk a lot, as a matter of fact. Um, I, only, I only drive when it's absolutely necessary. Mm. Yep. <sighs> okay. I can see you're tired. You know what? Um, I'll just take my leave and I'll give you a call tomorrow. I, it's only 7.30. I mean... You can stay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, if you want to leave, you can leave. Can we? 
okay. Um, Gracie? Can I kiss you? last night. Gracie, wake up. Come on. Ah, wake up now. I'm bored. What were you doing? Go. Ah. Oh God, Mona, I've told you countless of times that you're not my mother. Stay off my back. Okay, I can wake up whenever I want to wake up. I want to sleep. Not on a Saturday when Ella is not around. Wake up, okay? Come downstairs with me. Come on, please come with me. Listen. So you now know how it feels to be all alone on a Saturday, right? Yeah, talking about um, that. How is Jake? Mm. It's fine. Uh, we broke up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Almighty Mona has broken up with her boyfriend. Oh God. I wish I could just render my relationship advice, but you know, I'm not really good at those things. Ugh. Just keep it, okay? With you going tail on tail with that Muslim guy, you need all the energy. Just come downstairs and let's play Scrabble. Mm -hmm. Talking about the Muslim guy, he kissed me last night. He kissed you? I'm serious, he kissed me. It was so good. How did it taste? Um, it tasted like, um... <laughs> Strawberry and Irish cream. Ah. <laughs> oh, really serious. It was ah. so good. It was so good. It was so good. <sighs> She's lucky. Oh, okay. I'm going to say, okay. I'm Miss Drummond. Come downstairs, okay? Let me fix this. So, some coffee. Okay. Mm. Mm. This woman, the wisdom is you up at all hours. I still want to sleep, oh, really. I still want to sleep. Five times a day. 
I mean, he didn't pick my calls. I hope he's alright. It's fine. It's fine. Mm. Ama, Gracie, I must confess. Ahmed is going through the most difficult time of his life. That's good. What are you talking about? I mean, what, what is wrong with him? Well, I am in no position to tell you. You can find out from him when he comes. Idris, I'm going to meet my... Hey, when did you get here? Mm -hmm. Who's got here now? I mean, I called you severally, but you're not picking. I'm truly sorry about that, okay? But we'll talk about that when I return, okay? Huh? Where are you going? I'm going to see Alaji Isa. How about Ahmed? Have you gone nuts? Going to see Alaji means adding fuel to fire. Can make us any? And I hope you're not going to take that risk. Gaskia, I do not have another choice. Well, I have a choice. You better sit down and let us knock heads together. Okay? But like, Mama so one and together. Mama so one and Ta'ala. Now go there, but no. Baby, I'll give you a call when I return, okay? Okay, I'll be here waiting for you, alright? But please do not go give me a call, alright? Oh, sure, I will. Okay, then. Take What can I offer you? I came here to see you, and your real receptionist refused me. I'm sorry, I, I gave her the instruction. Oh, you're taking sides, right? Okay, I've had enough of all of this, okay? Fifth on this. I just got promoted. Space? 
Now you have it. So leave me alone. It's not what you think. Look, I admit, I can't seem to handle pressure. But this one was far beyond me. And the last thing I want... Ahmed, I know what you want. And I'm letting you be. It's, it's just so painful that you cannot let me come into your world. Especially when it's unstable. You are a woman, Gracie. It's my duty to take care of you, not to share my problems with you. What are you talking about? I'm your woman because you can take care of me? Listen, if I cannot share your problems with you, then leave. If actually we define this relationship. You already have 600 million and you've been needing uh, 120 million. Yeah. And you have just two weeks to get the money. Else, eight houses from the Bellis property, including your house and your company, will be confiscated, right? That's right. Oh, baby. I mean, is that why you shot me out? Because the business will yield profit in a month? <laughs> oh, my God. You should have told me. Listen, you know I love you. And I'll do anything for you. I promise you, your property will not be confiscated. Okay? Okay. Mm. Thank you. I love you too. I love you even more. I love you so much. I feel so better that I've shared everything with you now. <laughs> All right, baby. Now I have to take my leave. I'll give you a call later, okay? is a Muslim and I'm telling you the truth this relationship is heading nowhere is that the issue? that's the issue okay. listen I can get you my father's house documents the company's documents in the house and the church and that will make you give in the door are you okay? just answer me okay uh, it depends on the location and then the value of the house you know the rest of them I can also improve you don't forget about your car Don't 
Hello, Ahmed. Um, yeah, the one will be transferred into your account um, tomorrow. I took a loan from um, the company and mortgaged my father's um, properties, his church and his buildings. Yeah, you just ha you just have one month to pay up the money, else I'll be in trouble. I, I need to send your lawyers to um, sign the agreements and everything. Yes, I love you too. Chris, you did what? Huh? I can't believe this. this. I mean, this is a very stupid thing to have done. It is also a very stupid thing for better of the void of the confidential issue to you. Very stupid. Oh, yeah? Were you expecting him to keep quiet about it? Were you? Huh? Gracie, now I know you're very empty up here. What? Did you just call me empty? You heard me. Huh? I'm not even going to ask if both of you are quarreling. Eh? If you are, please settle it right now. I'm very tired. Our lover girl here dished out 120 million to her Muslim boyfriend who has financial problems. And guess what? She mortgaged her father's house, his church, and this building for it. Is that true? Crazy! Oh my god. I have never seen such stupidity in my life. Babe, stop back, you know. Start packing. What have I done? Check those fans. And the damn envelope there is from the management. Seems as if I wasn't talking to someone. I said, wrote to me, uh, you made sense the first time. And right now, I'm about to ask you to leave my office. Whatever. at 4 p.m. Has it gone that far? I don't know. God. You have to calm down, right? You now know the reason for this meeting. Are these your parents? The owners of the properties you used as um, collateral for the Y20 million naira loan you collected from Skyland Bank. Yes. 
And I should expect that you're familiar with the rules governing every bank, of which Skyline Bank is not exempted. You took a loan without following due process, and much more used other people's property without their consent. Grace, you should have known that first of all, giving or taking a loan, an insecure loan like that from a bank, is liable to jail term. And secondly, using other people's properties as a collateral without their consent is simply suicidal. I am sure that you know the implications of this to your career, yet you took the risk. Well, given the fact that you still have the documents in our position, we wish to inform you that we are going to keep the documents in our position until you pay the debt you owe us. And secondly, Grace, you are placed on a two-week suspension. Yes, and I suggest you use that time to find yourself a good lawyer because you are going to be seen in court. Um, sorry, can I say something? You can say whatever you want in front of the judge. Gracie, what were you thinking? Do you think this bank is a charity organization or one of your father's church organizations at that? You had all the documents in your position. Why didn't you make use of them? I, I didn't have enough time. Really? Now you have enough time to clear your head. Could you please excuse us? Yes, uh, Reverend and Mrs. Emmanuel, I, I must apologize for whatever this must have cost you. You know, and whatever action you decide to take against your daughter is your business. Yeah, but for us here in Skyline Bank, we maintain that due process must be followed. Once again, I must thank you for your cooperation. Yes. second thought. Now I have come to realize you do not have the fear of God in you. At all. Grace, did you think the church was built with your father's personal money? You've ruined your life, your career, just for a man? Jesus Christ, what makes you think that that man will marry you? Are you this dumb? Who cares whether he marries her or not? Look at the kind of child you gave birth to. Jesus Christ. A foolish child. Now, you listen to me. I'm going to show you the kind of man that I really am. By the time the two weeks expires and my house and church documents are now returned to where they were stolen from. Did you get that? Are you coming with me or not? Oh, God. You want to stay with your daughter? Uh, Come, let's go. Let us go. You sure? Yeah. Well, I'm glad to inform you that the business I did, the profits have started rolling in. That's right. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, that is so good. I, it, it's kept earlier than expected. I know, I know, I know. And my account officers pay 70% of the money of the loan we took from your bank back, and then the outstanding will be paid in a couple of days. Oh my god. Oh, I, okay, I, I mean, thank you so much. I can't even explain it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. 
<laughs> calm down, calm down. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. <laughs> Good. Um, I I just realized that I can fall in love, and I'm so happy that I did it with you. I'm really happy. Thank you so much. Thank me. Gracie, what are you talking about? I should be thanking you. Thank you so much. Like, you don't, you don't have an idea of what you've done for me by paying back this money. You don't, you don't even have an idea. What are you talking about? Huh? Were you thinking I wasn't going to pay back that money? Gracie, I know the consequences of the risk you took on my behalf. And I'm not going to take that for granted. No! Oh, baby. You know what? I got a surprise for you. Yeah. Surprise. Yeah, but I want you to face the wall right there. Don't turn around. Not until I ask you. Okay. 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 No looking back now. Okay. Good. <laughs> Be your eyes now. What was a surprise? So I did. <laughs> oh, my oh my goodness. The token is inside. Um, can I? No, 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 you can't open it. Not until after I'm gone. Okay. Well, you know it's a chest anyway, and it's always difficult to unlock. <laughs> I was just kidding. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. I'm glad you like it. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs>